Welcome back, Year 6, London and Tower. It's good to see you back. I hope you had a restful week. This term, we are starting on new topic, which is based on a book called Stone Girl, Bone Girl. And it's all about a girl called Mary Anning, who was a paleontologist, which is um, a fossil hunter, someone really interested in um, bones, fossils and dinosaurs. So we're going to be learning all about evolution this term. We are also starting to look at algebra this term. And I'm going to have a little look um, in maths about what algebra is and what it is not. Because some people are a bit scared of algebra. But it's actually really not scary at all. We're also going to do some reading. Now, our reading activities, there'll be one every day this week. And for our writing, we were going to be writing a blog. So you will need to take a look into what a blog is and what a blog is not for you to be able to write your blog this week. Key words you will need to have this week. First of all, you will need to know what fossils are. And a fossil is what is left behind when uh, bones have been kind of crushed under lots and lots of rock over time and it's an imprint of what has been there before and that's how we know about things like different types of dinosaurs from fossils. You will also need to know the word evolution to evolve, to change, to adapt. And the final word you'll need today is paleontologist. So when I talk to you about blogs, I will talk to you more about paleontology and pa paleontologists. So what is a blog? It's an online diary. And here is an example from a paleontologist, a fossil hunter's um, online diary or blog. It's called, it says day 12 at the top here. And it says Project Runway, so it's given it a title, Day 12, Project Runway, and a date underneath, August 19th, 2017, a little bit out of date. Returned to the field on our final day of collection. Most of what we did was clean up, removing flags, noting what, what we couldn't collect, etc. It's funny how much my standards have changed. Fossil fragments that would have excited me on the first day now don't seem worth the two minutes it would take to wait for my GPS to register a satellite signal again. Logan Butt is very fossiliferous. My first field experience and I'm already spoiled. So this is not the whole of the blog entry for that day, but it is the beginning of that. It's got just like a diary. It's got um, what he did and how he felt about it. A little bit of a joke in there, a little bit humorous. Um, and then after that, there's, there's, there's more about what happened in his day. This is another example. I've put the web address at the top so you can follow this. Um, this is Fossil Facts and Finds. There's loads of stuff on here, really interesting. This is um, about uh, Basilosaurus, which you can see uh, there's the, what it looked like, probably its bones or a fossil of it. Um, roaming the seas some 41 to 34 million years ago was the Basilosaurus, a formidable prehistoric carnivorous whale from the late Eocene originally thought to have been a monstrous reptilian creature. Later evidence revealed that it was instead an early marine mammal. There you go. So it's a quite factual. Blogs reveal all kind of facts about different stuff and they usually they have a theme. So it's like an online diary, but also an online fact file to reveal information. And paleontology is the study of fossils and dinosaurs. Now, I've put up two definitions on here as well, because it gives you a little bit more information. You can read that. It's a scientific study of life that existed prior to and sometimes including, it says the Holocene Epoch. Basically, it's um, from a long, long time ago um, where we could have gotten fossils from from different types of old humans before we existed so there are other types of human before us and different animals that no longer exist and have evolved into something else now i said i would tell you about algebra so algebra is a way of showing a formula for example eg means for example a equals 2b 
y equals 3x plus 2. Now, that might sound like gibberish to you, but I'm going to show you what that means later. It's used to substitute real stuff and real numbers, and it shows patterns, it shows formula. And it's easy when you use diagrams and bar models and pictures when you can work out what it is that's being asked of you. It is not scary. It is not all numbers and it's not a method of calculating. You still need to plug in the numbers and do the math. You still need to be able to do the calculating, the addition, the subtraction, the multiplication and the division. Algebra is it's to do with maths. Here is an example of how we use algebra. So the question at the top is 3b equals 15. Oh, I don't know how to calculate. I bet you already know the answer. We've got three. I've substituted in bananas. So three bananas equal 15 pence. How much does one banana cost? So here we can see we've got one, two, three bananas equals 15. And I've done it as a bar model as well. I've put 15 at the top and 3b there. So how much does banana cost? We still have to do the calculating. And the calculation that we would do is 15 divided by 3. And you'll be able to work out how much the banana costs. Right. Um, go through your day. Enjoy and welcome back.